Thoughts with my boy Quite messy underneath. It's messy underneath, but like the way that it's, you know. Yeah. I like that it's like this compared to like the ones where guys like just. Yeah, build it. Like, yeah, build it like hugging the wall here. Yeah. Yeah. It's messy underneath. Like there's no cable management whatsoever. Yeah, but you don't care, do you? No, because yeah. I don't see it ever. You don't see it ever. Right? Yeah. Okay. Just, just flip it down like that. Yeah, it's perfect. And your trunk's still functional, right? Yeah. yeah. See, I like it there than like here. Yeah. Where then it takes up space from the, you know, the storage. Yeah, like granted the other, the other benefit is that you get a spare tire. Yeah. That too. So What's like the specs on these wheels, Harold? Honestly, I have no idea. Like you don't even know the width of them? I just know they're 18s and I think they're either, they're either eight, eight and a half or nine. I guess when we pulled the one off earlier, we could have checked on the yeah. back side, right? We could have, but we didn't. 215, 40, 18? All, is that all around? Yeah. It's, it, they're uh, the same setup all around, right? I believe so. It's not like a stagger set? I believe it's the same setup. 215, 40, 18, yeah. Yeah, nice, man. I worked at a Ford dealership and uh, they had a Mark IV VR6, a 2000 GLX on the used lot. And my, I had to take, I always used to drive used cars back and forth from our lots where we parked all the cars. And so one night uh, I decided I'm gonna take this Volkswagen and I had never been in a Volkswagen in my life before. And uh, I turned it on and I saw the, the stereotypical Mark IV blue dash. And I just like, I knew I had to have the car. So I bought the car off the, the lot and uh then ever since then it was just downhill no i never took a picture of it but it was uh lowered on eibach coilovers it had um some skirts and a, a different front end it's for a company that's over in europe that i can't pronounce so i would butcher it i have a link saved to them but uh yeah they had some like really nice really really nice things in it. it had the original oem factory uh sunscreen in the back which was really nice had a little tiny lip on the trunk it was just clean it wasn't it wasn't overdone it was clean with 17 inch uh, long beaches um i saw it on kijiji it looked slammed it looked dope so i kind of i read about it one thing was i want to put i wanted experience with air ride because i'd never owned a car with air ride before and i wanted to experience it so that i could make a decision for my other car of whether I want to put it on air or not. And so that was a big, big factor for me. It was that I, since I saw it was on air and it had the management system that I wanted in the Rabbit, uh, I wanted to experience it, see if I liked it, see if it was something I felt like dealing with on a daily. Um, and so air ride was a big one. That really drew me to it. And then I've always wanted a wagon and a diesel. And so it was a wagon diesel five speed on air. Yeah. I don't know how much more you could ask for for like a winter beater. Like that's pretty much like, ticks all my boxes. I've got space, I've got fuel economy. It looks okay, like for a Mark IV. It's on air, so I was like, okay, sick. I have mixed thoughts on it. Um, the ride is unparalleled. Like you're not gonna get a better ride, that's for sure. 
I cruise really, really low in this and it's smooth over most bumps. I don't think you're gonna get a better ride quality than air. Um, it's more finicky than I thought it would be, uh, especially the way that 3P uh, like markets itself, which I get it's just marketing, right? They gotta sell units, so they're gonna make it sound way easier. And it is super easy, like don't get me wrong, you double click a button and you're at air ride, uh, ride height and you don't really roll around, like you don't change it or anything. But it's just uh, learning about like, what's, what's the normal behavior of air ride, like seeing the numbers change on the screen. I didn't know that that would happen. Although it makes sense because like, as you're compressing the shock, obviously you're gonna have higher and lower pressure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just like a bit more finicky than I thought it would be. I'm always like in the back of my head, just thinking like, man, I hope I don't blow a bag. Even though like nothing rubs, there's no reason to blow a bag. It's just like, it's just irrational thoughts of a first time owner. So um, there was this meet that used to happen a long time ago at Kennedy Commons. So Kennedy Commons used to be really big. And uh, one day I was at Kennedy Commons and I was just my buddy who got me into Volkswagen. And I just saw this Mark One Jetta coupe sitting there and I was just like, what is that? And then my buddy was just like, oh, that's a Mark One. I was like, I'll own one of those one day. That thing's sick. And then that started my hunt for a, a GLI coupe. And then I eventually found a GLI coupe and bought that. And then the rest is history. I never went back. Yeah, I bought the red, the 84 red one. Uh -huh. Just the, like the base model CL or C or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, just the red 84. And then I sold that um, to buy the small one. question uh it's a complicated answer uh i think the most controversial way of saying it is i just think that's a social cancer i think it i think it just does way more damage than it does good for our society and for our culture uh that's probably the most controversial way of answering it but there's a lot of personal reasons too like i just think that it creates unhealthy habits i think that it's designed to exploit our vices um I think it's just an unhealthy thing to be a part of. Although I understand the good in it. I'm not like denying that it helps you stay in contact with people that, you know, otherwise you would lose. I'm not denying the benefits of it. I just think that the, uh, that the negative side effects outweigh the benefits of it. And I don't think that's something I want to participate in, uh, nor give my approval for. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, there's a, uh, yeah, like, no, not really. Like all my boys, all my Volkswagen crew, they uh, they helped me stay on the road. That's for sure. Without them, I couldn't have cool cars. But like other than that, future girlfriend. Yeah, maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll build a car for her if she if uh, if she likes cars. <laughs> oh, money.